Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the number 22 ranked Bryant Bulldogs, 7-2 on the season, hosting the 4-5 Florida A&M Rattlers. They are on a three-game losing streak. Bryant, they've won one game in a row. You know, they're on a hot streak. They're living it up. They've had a struggle this season against ACC foes. They lost to NC a and State and the Hampton Pirates. But as you can see, their rankings are all top 20. They've been dominating just a couple really close games that just didn't go their way. They're going up against the seventh-ranked pass offense today in Florida A&M, over 330 yards passing per game. Bryant with the number 19-ranked pass defense. So should be a good little matchup right there. And looking forward to seeing the number two offense for the Bulldogs get to work. Let's take a look at their schedule, see their losses. Lost by a field goal to the Aggies, lost by six points to Hampton. Those are both away games, so traveling into hostile territory. This should be a little bit better for them. Home game, of course, they did rebound last week against Delaware State, 70-16. to But let's get it, folks. I almost ran the Jacksonville playbook on accident. Whoopsie. Players to watch out for, Tate, Roberts, and Douglas for the offense for Florida A&M. And Brandon Allen, Noel Montanez, and Cy Summers, of course, for the Bryant Bulldogs. Let me get my chat pulled up on my phone so I can see all you beautiful people out there. If you haven't already, please slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in this series for one of our 12 schools. The link is in the description below. All right, who we got? Carl Weezer in the chat. Ron Kemp. What's going on, guys? If you want to recruit Carl, you got to join our Discord, buddy be adding new recruits in the offseason. Yeah, nice kickoff. We're going to take a look at the Bryant Bulldog defense. Led by Ruben Blueberry and Joe Owens. I believe he is still injured, so we're going to see a lot of Bryant dynasty. No, Owens is back in there. Linebacking core. Oh, actually, Divine Adams at D-tackle. Linebacking core. Ryan Lee Norton and Cy Summers. And Norton pushes Douglas out of bounds. The rest of the defense is Cy Summers, Stephon Okafor, the outside linebacker spots, Tadian Moss at corner, and true freshman strong safety, KTO Miller, number 34. You're in the Discord, you're just not active? Well, get active, man. Come on now. If you were active, I would have known that you were in there. I lose track of people. Since there's like 170 of you guys in there. All right, Rattlers with the first down. Get him, Cy Summers with the sack. Let's go. Averaging nine and a half tackles per game, one and a half sacks, and a half an interception per game. Pretty good numbers. Crockett in the chat. What's up, Crockett? How you doing, buddy? It's our first game of our doubleheader here this morning. And Cy Summers destroys the quarterback, and Tadian Moss has the INT. Just his second of the season. My goodness. Right, let's take a look at the offense for the Bryant Bulldogs, led by junior quarterback Noel Montanez. He's backed up by sophomore quarterback Jason Stark. In the backfield, Brandon Allen, A.J. Jordan, and Tay Ray. Receiving core, L.J. Topher and Snoopy Tucker. Diego Martinez at tight end, and Kenneth Harrington is at left tackle. Over the middle, wide open is White inside the 15-yard line, and Jason Rust has injured his head on the play for Florida A&M. Big hit for the secondary. Right. 
Number two offense in the land, 528 yards per game. Pretty decent. And there's Brandon Allen, gets the block. Brandon Allen is in for the Bryant Bulldog touchdown. The early takeaway results in an early touchdown for the number 22 team in the land. You'd love to see it. Extra point is up and good. Is VMI on this sim? I mean, all 12 of our schools are in the same dynasty, so yeah. If that's what you mean. Brashers boots the kickoff. Five yards deep, Roberts will down it. And the Rattlers will take the field again after that interception on the last drive. Okay, T.L. Miller swats it down. Very nice coverage from the freshman. All right, second down and 10 from the 20. Cy Summers in the zone at outside linebacker. Got caught on the offensive lineman. And a nice pitch out. Oh, Miller with the tackle. And third and short. They are 94th in the country on third downs. 39%. That is rough. Running back, it's blown up. Tate throws it right side. Man, wide open. Breaking tackles, still going. Griffin all the way to the 26-yard line. Big time play for Florida A&M. They are in business. A little bit of miscommunication in the secondary. Eight, three of five, 56 yards on a pick. Let's get some more pressure on him, maybe force another bad pass. Direct snap, and Douglas breaks the tackle. Look out, he might go. Douglas all the way to the seven. Tadian Moss stops him short of the end zone. Isaiah Thomas is gonna be a wide receiver. I like it. Could always use receivers. Good drive for Florida A&M, rebounding after that pick. And they almost get the touchdown. There's holding, though. That'll back them up 10 yards. All right, let's blitz them. Tate in the shotgun. Direct snap again. And Nance will get nothing on that one. Cy Summers is now in the zone at linebacker. And they're going to hand it off. Cy Summers is not fast enough to get Douglas. Who finds the end zone? Touchdown, Florida AM. Just out of Cy Summers' reach. That's unfortunate. Rattler's gonna tie it up with the extra point. And it is seven apiece. Really good drive, six plays, 80 yards, minute and a half off the clock. Tay Ray, the freshman, on for the kick return. 
And could have been decent, but he trips over a fallen defender in this clipping anyway. Um, Ryan Lee Norton. You can eat a Travis Scott burger? I don't know what that is, Carl. Tell me. Tell me what it is. I need all the info. Chugging it deep. White, triple coverage. Got him. White is gone. Touchdown, Bryant Bulldogs. Oh, my goodness. The acceleration after the catch. He was just like a streak of lightning out here. Goodness gracious. And just like that, the Bryant Bulldogs get the lead back. Travis Scott and the McDonald's sponsor. Okay. I've never listened to a single song of his. I know that he, he performed at halftime of the Super Bowl, didn't he? Was it the Super Bowl? I can't remember. I just know that I did not watch it. Alright, first and ten for Florida AM. See if the Bulldog defense can step it up a little bit. Oh. Holding. Direct snap again. Oh my goodness. That's like the third direct snap. And Ruben Blueberry blows that play up. Loss of six for the Rattlers. What difficulty am I playing on? This is on Heisman, sir. Always on Heisman. Except for the uh, computer versus computer games. I switch it to All American. We might have to switch that actually to the next difficulty lower than that. We'll see. But when I'm playing, it's always on Heisman. Third down, 21 yards to go. Ty Summers on the blitz, and he gets him his second sack of the game. Let's go, 11th of the season. He's just too good. I'll see if we can block the punt. Nope. All right, Tay Ray, let's see what you got, freshman. This could be a good one. Tay Ray on the left sideline. Tay Ray is... Gonna, oh, he's dropped inside the five-yard line. Oh, my goodness, so close. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unbelievable. Try to get the young fella in the end zone here. Nope. Lose a few yards. Eighty-four percent in the red zone. A couple missed field goals here and there. That's where they brought that number down. And here is AJ Jordan, the junior, and he is in for the Bright Bulldog touchdown. Set up by the Tay Ray punt return.
starting a 2020 NCAA roster thing on your YouTube. Nice. Be sure to share it in the Discord and the gaming channel. TV is football shaped. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful thing. Do I know who GG9 is? I surely do not. I'm assuming that's a YouTuber, maybe, possibly. Get him! Nice tackle, that was Joe Owens. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick formation sub, get Bryant Dynasty on the field, on defense. Because, well, it's, it's Bryant Dynasty, so. Got to get the young fella in there. Oh my goodness, Cy Summer should have had the pick. And it's holding again. Florida AM just falling apart at the seams. He does similar content to me. Thought I got inspired from him. No, I've never heard of him. I used to do series like this when I was a kid. Loved watching all the smaller schools play each other. And there's a face mask, and that's probably going to be personal foul. No, it's not. Quite a few penalties so far in the first quarter. Yeah, I used to do this as a kid in all these games. Put all the FCS schools in there. This is actually the first time I ever put all the FCS schools in and then put 12 created schools in there as well. And they're obviously all real schools. There's an interception for Weaver and Weaver might take it all the way. He is. Touchdown, Bryant. Oh my goodness. Beautiful play. Yeah, this is the first time I ever created 12 other FCS schools and put them in there. So we got 91 total FCS teams in this dynasty, which is pretty cool. And then for the Professional League, where all of our subscriber and Discord players are going to be drafted into, the Elite Football League, the EFL. I used to create full leagues back in the day as well. Obviously not as good because I was just a kid, but it took a lot of time and effort to make the EFL. Get that set for the channel. Season 1, I think we did week 1 for season 1 already. And we'll be starting last season back up after this season of the FCS Dynasty. The EFL is on Madden 06, so we're going to be importing all of the draft classes. Ty Summers missed the enter or missed the sack on the quarterback. Feels bad. Would have been his third of the game. Get him. Nice pass. Nice tackle by KTO Miller. There's another flag for a holding again. Is it on the PS3? No, it is on the PS2. The only PS3 games that I had on this channel, I had an NCAA 14 Dynasty going, but my old capture device corrupted some of the files, so I kind of stopped that series, unfortunately. Nice deflection by O. Miller. Mike, are you okay, buddy? You're having a little bit of issues in the chat. You all right? <laughs> Third down and 20. Stick around after this stream, guys. We're going to be having the Jacksonville Dolphins at the Alabama A&M Bulldogs. And, oh, my goodness, what a hit. And Davey Tate is injured from the Cy Summers. Big hit.
That was a vicious tackle. The first quarter is not even over yet, guys. What are you talking about? This is crazy. Tay Ray almost took one of the house last time. Let's see what we can do here. Nothing. Heck, we might get the backups in for the whole second half. In and out on the carry. He's going to pick up eight yards. That's the end of the first quarter. With the Bryant Bulldogs on top, 28-7 to over ACC foe, Florida A&M. David Tate out for two weeks with a sprained elbow. His season is done. Deep shot to White. He's got one touchdown in the game, and this is deflected away. Good play by the corner. Middle linebacker in the zone. Let's get Tay Ray out in motion. Why not? One on one with the linebacker. He's got him beat. Let's go. Oh, we dropped it. Tay Ray, say it ain't so. Fourth and two. Yeah, we go for those. What's up? Jay Washington in the chat. On pace for 112 to 28. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to get it. I didn't get it. It's all right. It's all right. Their backup quarterback is now in for the rest of the season. So let's see how he can fare. Number seven. Another big hit on the quarterback. Completes the pass out to Jenkins for a couple yards. Oh, nice deflection. Eight hurries, three sacks, two INTs. And we're barely, we're not even a minute into the second quarter yet. Summers in the zone at linebacker. Look out. Can't get past the line. And a nice throw. Perfect placement. First down, Florida ain't it. Nice throw, just over O. Miller. Pick up a five. Hope everybody's having a great day out there. Oh, Miller, let's go with a diving deflection. You love to see it. Chances of big hits are like homicides. They're higher with Summers. Oh, my goodness. Such a perfect analogy, though. I love it. <laughs> Third down and five from the 25. Get it, Moss. Let's go. Oh, Miller with the pick. Oh, I got caught on my own teammate. That's unfortunate. But a nice deflection to the freshman. Oh, Miller for the INT. That's a beautiful thing, folks. If I didn't get caught on number 17 right there, I would have still been running. I just kept running. And their defensive end is in the zone. No! I knew that was coming. Entire offensive line got blowed up. It's all right. I 
Nice punt from Brashers. And nice tackle by Doyle. It's the first safety we've seen in quite a while. I tried to throw it away, but that defense event closed so fast on me. And Cy Summers delivers another huge hit on the quarterback, his third sack of the game. Loss of eight. Keep on blitzing. That's all you gotta do. Summers again hits the quarterback. Oh, that was almost completed. There's a flag for pass interference, though. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Trying to get your 24th Fall Guys win. Nice. I have zero. I have played the game, though. My kids like watching it. <laughs> Sit down. Let's go. Four sacks for Summers. Unbelievable. I don't think Joe Owens will get credit for that at all, even though it was a team tackle. Good pass to Whaley. Third and five. Shot, and it's caught. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Roberts on the sideline. I couldn't have done anything there. Try to deflect it, and he just goes out of bounds. Great play for Florida A&M. Why does the camera do that for pass interference? I, I don't know, my friend. I do not know. You ask great questions. Get him. Summers again. Five sacks in the first half. It's not even fair. Orlandi or Summers for best linebacker. Oh, man. Oh, for pass coverage, it's Orlandi. Run coverage and sacking the quarterback. Definitely Cy Summers. See the Clippers blow a 3-1 lead? I did see that. I did. I mean, I didn't watch the games, but I saw what happened. Go Miami! Let's go! Harris Gurley in the chat. What's up, Harris? And another sack. It's Joe Owens. Oh, my goodness. This poor quarterback. Can add Logan Tyler. Logan Tyler's the best all around, I think. He can do it all. I mean, Cy Summers is pretty good in pass coverage as well, but definitely not at the level of Orlandi. And Orlandi is pretty good at run coverage, but not at the level of Cy Summers. Alright, offense. Let's get it. And an Allen dropped at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, why not? LJ Toe for one on one? Oh, nice deflection. That boy got some ups, man. All right, third and ten. LeBron is the GOAT? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. One of the GOATs, but not the GOAT. Throw it up. 
Snoopy Tucker. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. What are you doing? Florida Amity needs to fire their own line coach. Yeah, they, they kind of do. They're having a rough time. And we almost got another sack on him. Oh my goodness. I mean, nobody brought up Michael Jordan but you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Nice deflection at the line of scrimmage. John Perez in the chat. What's up, John? MJ's the GOAT. I like it. Oh, what a hit from Cy Summers. Sit down. Get him out of here. Six rings and six finals MVPs. Tell him, John. Craniac Gaming in the chat. What's up, man? How you doing? Get up, another hit on the quarterback. Woo, 13 hurries, seven sacks, and three INTs. How can you, how can you be the GOAT with a losing record? That's a good question. All right, you guys put your, your top five players in the chat. I'll put my top five. Slim Chris, Marvin Joseph. What's going on, guys? Pitch it out, Brandon Allen. First down and then some. Breaking a tackle, apparently. I mean, he got tackled, but all right. Needs one more touchdown for 90. 90 for his career. Sean B in the chat. What's up, Sean? All right, Craniac, you got Jordan, Kobe, Wilt, LeBron. Who's your five? Who you got? Oh, that was a nice play. Tim Duncan. Okay, I can see that. Throw it up. Tucker got it. First down. Let's go. Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, Magic, Kareem. I like it. Solid list. I agree with you, Marvin. Throw it up. He's wide open. Get it. Let's go. AJ Jordan down inside the five of the one yard line. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Brandon Allen can't get in on his first try. All right, guys, ready? My, here's my top five. Ready? Got number one, 
Michael Jordan, of course. Number two, I got Kobe. He's my favorite player watching growing up. Number three, I think I'd have to put Larry Bird. Good old Larry Legend. Yes, yeah, right, I said it. What's up? Touchdown, Brian. Number 90 for Brandon Allen. I think at four, I would put LeBron. And then five, hmm. Five might have to sink on that one for a minute. Probably Magic Johnson at five. Oh, nice return. Without AD, LeBron didn't make the playoffs last year. That is true. Don't be hating on my list now. Oh, that should have been a pick six. Yeah, people don't know about Bird, man. They just think, oh, tall white guy. He can shoot. That's cool. All right, why don't you go watch some highlights? Educate yourselves. Oh, nice cut. Nah, I can't put LeBron ahead of Bird. Can't do it. All right, that's the end of the first half. 35 to nine, Bulldogs on top of the Rattlers of Florida A&M. Stick around after this stream, guys. We have in our second game of the day, the Jacksonville Dolphins traveling to take on the Alabama A&M Bulldogs. Oh, good return for Allen up to the 29. Bird doesn't guard. Okay, minus, minus a handful of amazing blocks from LeBron James. Does he play defense? No, I don't think so. I'm just saying. Nice run for Allen. Nine yards up the middle. All right, second down and one. Oh my goodness, Allen running through the whole defense. I could probably name a hundred players that are better defenders than LeBron James. LeBron is a better defender than MJ? Now I know you're on some drugs, man. <laughs> Throw it up. Diego Martinez, the tight end. Can't get there. What is this offense today? LeBron got cooked by Jason Terry. <laughs> Oh, straight facts. Straight facts. Get that block. Let's go. There's a face mask. Jason Terry was lucky for, for an entire finals. What do you mean? <laughs> Duke, but there's so much pressure up front and it's clipping. Wow. How do you get a clipping call and everybody got through? Allen, 
Nice blocking downfield from LJ Telfer. Allen dropped at the 40. Snoopy Tucker wide open down to the 11 yard line. First down, Bryant. Some of y'all typing just to do it. <laughs> it feels that way sometimes. It do be that way. It do. I'm just saying, I'd rather have a player that can get me six rings than one that can. I'm just saying. I'm throwing that out there. The Bulls had Pippen. Okay. And LeBron needed D Wade and Chris Bosch to do anything. I'm just saying. Also, let's not forget, they had Ray Allen, one of the greatest three point shooters of all time, who hit probably the most clutch shot of all time for them to win the finals, basically. There's Tay Ray, touchdown, Bryant. Don't mean anything. Come on now. Being a champion means everything. here in the third quarter. Get him. Uh, another sack on the quarterback. It's Joe Owens again. Dennis Rodman wasn't a star. He was a defensive star. He's not going to get you many buckets. Quick pass right side to Griffin. Maybe one or two yards on the reception. This is a football channel, and we're talking basketball for the whole game. <laughs> I'm not even as big on basketball as I was when I was younger. Since all the uh, ridiculous flopping really got out of hand, I stopped watching it as much as I used to. I used to watch the Miami Heat every week. But now I just catch a game when I can and then try to watch a playoff game here and there. Let's go, Tay Ray. Nice return up past the 40. How many times did he get to the finals? Uh, quite a bit. How many times did he get swept in the finals?
happens when I'm blowing the schools out. Well, this should get good. Come on now. Okay, Noel. Let's go. Nice pitch out. There's a face mask. Face mask Buffalo Bills, four in a row. Yes, sir. With Jim Kelly at quarterback from the U. All right, first and ten. Nice catch by LJ Topher. I thought that was going to be a pick. Goodness gracious. I'm a Canes fan? Yes, sir. I am Miami through and through. Since 1995, brother. Brandon Allen, his 91st touchdown run of his career. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That's right, 305. Forty-nine to nine. You love the dog sound effect? I love, I love it too. It's my favorite one, I think. I like this one. I like, uh, I like the VMI one, the gunshots, and the tigers. I like that one as well. The Russell played in the era with 10 teams. <laughs> That's true. That is true, too. Derek King looked nice. Yes, sir. Look even better against uh, Louisville. Guaranteed. That was just game one. Summers hits the quarterback again. A big time hit. Let's take a look at it if they show it. Nope. Beating Louisville, I hope so. Miami hasn't been good since, let's see, I was 12. It's been 17 years. Third and 11. We pass, and he got him. Since Ken Dorsey was the quarterback. Oh, my goodness. Well, no, they were pretty decent with Brock Berlin in uh, 03. That was the last, that was really the last season where they had a legitimate shot to do anything. Oh, I misplayed that. I'm not fast enough. No. Touchdown, Florida a &M. I'm pretty sure everybody would take six championships over nine finals appearance. I'm just saying. Nine consecutive, it doesn't matter. If you can get to nine straight and you're only going to win three of them, come on now. Yeah, John, that was definitely the start. After 03, then 04, oh my goodness. Just getting blown up by teams that shouldn't have gotten, shouldn't have got blown up by. Then the final game in the Orange Bowl, so just disappointing. Let's go, Tay Ray. Let's get it. 
Chaos Driven in the chat, my brother. What's going on? Get your fours up, folks. 49-16. Bulldogs on top. We're going to go ahead and get Jason Stark in here at quarterback. See what this young feller can do. I mean, he's going to hand it off quite a bit, but I'm just saying. Tom Brady didn't win every time he got to the Super Bowl either. That is true. That's why a lot of people still would pick Joe Montana over Tom Brady. I'm not saying I would. But I'm just saying, people will still take it. Get that block. Oh, you didn't get the block. That's unfortunate. What's going on, Audrey? How are you? Oh my goodness. Harris, what are you talking about? I didn't mention the claw at all. He's not even playing him. He gets to face the Nuggets, my guy. Alright, Tay Ray, let's get it. That's blocking way downfield. Oh, the spin inside the 40. I think he sold a solid halftime to win that Super Bowl against the Falcons. Oh my god. No, I just think Kyle Shanahan forgot how to football. That's what happened. Right, who wants it? Okay. Good catch, Newman. First down. Face mask. Face mask. Clearly mentioned about the finals. Okay. What, what, what about the finals? I don't know what you're saying, Harris. If the Lakers beat the Nuggets and the Heat beat the Celtics, I mean, there's no excuse for LeBron to not win that. This is the easiest setup for him. Three teams that really don't have any star players, like legitimate, like MVP candidates. Just glad, just glad Brady's out of your division. I like it. What about Jimmy Butler? Jimmy ain't going one-on-one -on -one versus LeBron. Come on now. That's not how... That's not his play style. Okay, easy touchdown for the Bulldogs. That's the 50-burger. This game has been going on for so long. My goodness. Fifty-six, sixteen is the score here in the fourth. In Smithfield, Rhode Island. Brother can't stick with Brown for every minute. No, he can't do that. There's no way. Oh, what a hit. Oh, my 
goodness. Stefan Okafor. Watch the Heat take a game. I got the Heat winning, man. It's my team, obviously. I'm going to go for him, you know? Oh, nice deflection. If AD goes off, then you're done. Yeah, pretty much. But I, I like the Heat's chances against him, though. I think if Boston makes it against LA, I'm pretty sure the Lakers would just wipe the floor with them. I think the Heat would give him the better matchup. Nice play by Moss, breaking through two blocks. Okay, Tadian, let's go. He could have been gone if Moss did not make that tackle. Tay Ray on for the return. Oh, juking everybody out. He fumbles the football, though. And, of course, Coleman just doesn't have any hands to pick it up. And we got them shooters. Yes, sir. I'm just hoping that the Nuggets can beat the Lakers so we can see some different teams, different people in the finals. Aren't you guys sick and tired of seeing the same things over and over again? Like, nobody wants to see LeBron James go to the finals and lose again. Like, nobody wants that. LeBron can play four out of the five positions. I mean... He could. So could Magic Johnson. Just saying. Nuggets versus Heat. Yeah, that's like my most ideal matchup. I think that'd be awesome. Oh, nice play. Oh, he drops it. Let's go. Huge play by Burns. Miss that. Oh, how did he fit that in there? Oh my goodness. How do you miss that pass? Nobody in the league can guard LeBron. I'm sure people can guard him. And another overthrow. Pass. Another hit on the quarterback. Who got him this time? Stefan Okafor. And they're going to keep going for it on fourth down. Why not? If he's unguardable, then he should be able to score 80 a game. Agreed. And another incomplete pass, turnover on downs. It's career high is 65. Yeah, who do you do that against? The Knicks? The lowly Knicks. All right, 
under two minutes to go. Tay Ray, another carry. And the freshman explodes up the sideline. Oh my goodness, he's just going to outrun everybody. Touchdown, Bulldogs. on the playoffs and made it further than Giannis and Kawhi. I mean, that's true, but <laughs> Giannis is a little overhyped. Just saying. Scored 61 versus the Bobcats. Oh, wow. Some outstanding competition. Well, I couldn't make the playoffs without PG. I'm pretty sure he did it last year and won the finals. <laughs> Another sack on the quarterback. Joe Owens again. Absolutely dominating now. I mean, they have been the whole game, but my goodness. It's a lovely list of nicknames that LeBron pretty much gave all to himself. <laughs> Brandon Allen, player of the game, 94, or yeah, 94 touchdowns. Four touchdowns. I believe he's got 94 in his career now. Nice play. <laughs> Nicknames count for nothing. Agreed. Oh my goodness, I keep hitting the quarterback just too late. 24 hurries, 9 sacks, and 3 INTs. Summers, another tackle for a loss in the game. Seven tackles, five sacks, and six of those tackles are for a loss. Another sack. Oh my goodness. The Browns in the East. It was so easy for him. Yeah, I mean, who's in the East? Who do they got? He kept going up against, you know, the Toronto Raptors with DeMar DeRozan. Come on. Go up against the Celtics who had nobody anymore. The only player I know on that team is Jason Tatum, I think. Final play of the game. And another sack. Why not? Stefan Okafor gets in on the action. Pretty solid win here today. And just for good measure. Do another one of those things. 
West is still better than the East now? Oh, absolutely. Take a look at the stats. Negative 22 rushing yards for Florida a and They were sacked 11 times. 11. Craziness. Can you cook my heat? I mean, I, I guess. If, if that's what you're into. This game was pretty much over in the first quarter. Montanez, 6 of 11, 208 yards, one touchdown. Sacked twice, long of 89. 152 yards for Brandon Allen, four touchdowns. Tay Ray had two for uh, two on four carries for 94 yards. A.J. Jordan, one carry, six yards, and a touchdown. A couple fumbles. Allen with five broken tackles. Nick White, two catches, 110 yards, and a touchdown. Kenneth Harrington allowed two sacks in this game. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's the first time in his entire career he's allowed multiple sacks in a game. Ruben Blueberry, nine tackles, two for loss. Cy Summers, seven, six for loss. Tadian Moss had one tackle for loss. Joe Owens with four tackles for loss, four sacks. Okafor had a sack, two tackles for loss. Norton had a sack. Devine Adams had a tackle for a loss. Look at these tackles for loss. Ten between two players. Bruh. 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 tackles for loss for the defense and 11 sacks between four players. Three interceptions, a bunch of deflections. Would you rather be 6-0 in the finals and six finals MVPs or go to the finals nine times? I'd rather win six times and never go to a game seven. But that's just me. Tay Ray with a 46-yard punt return. Almost took it to the house. Tackled inside the 5-yard line. That is it for this one, guys. Give me a few minutes to set up the Jacksonville and Alabama A&M stream. And we'll get that game to you guys. But go ahead and slap that like button on your way out of the stream if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in this here series. Give me 5 minutes, guys. Until then, take it easy.